Today in this video I want to tell you more about my personal experience with intermittent fasting, um, take you through a day of eating and activities and answer some frequently asked questions as I got such a big response on Instagram. Intermittent fasting it's not a diet, it's more so an eating pattern and there's a couple of different uh, fasting protocols and I personally follow 16-8 scheme which is simply speaking 16 hour fast followed by an 8 hour eating window. I personally follow intermittent fasting for a number of reasons but the main reason uh, I won't lie is fat loss. Um, I gained some weight over the past couple of months. I will, I will tell you how much I gained when I actually reach my goal. That's going to be interesting. A few years ago I was practicing intermittent fasting for a long time and it was the period of my life where I felt the best and I was in the best shape mentally and physically. There are a few proven benefits of uh, intermittent fasting and actually below um, I will include the list of my favorite articles with, an actu with actual links to the studies that have been done. So why intermittent fasting? I heard a lot of people say that it's just yet another way of reaching calorie deficit, which is not quite true. Even speaking of purely fat loss, intermittent fasting helps you burn fat more efficiently. Because what happens when your body enters the fasted state? Your body starts uh, releasing glucagon, which is the hormone that, that's um, actually responsible for deriving energy from your fat stores. So that's what happens uh, when you're in a fasted state and it only happens after 10 hours of fasting, so hence why a lot of people fast for 16 hours. It never happens when you eat every 3 hours, which is horrible. I actually, I have actually been there. I've tried eating 6 times a day, small portions. I was always hanging, hanging out with my little containers. I was always thinking, what am I going to eat next? And it was like a vicious cycle of eating. It's way easier than don't eat this, eat that kind of diet, which actually makes you obsessive compulsive. Raise your hand if you've been there. Plus, it just like actually makes your life more enjoyable. You can enjoy some decent size, calorie dense meals uh, without even having to worry. Like you pretty much can eat everything. I personally eat chocolate pretty much every single day, and I still get leaner every day, which is awesome. It is such a myth that in order to make your metabolism going, you need to eat small portions every couple of hours. That's not true. Like even our ancestors, even back in the days, people never ate four, five, six times a day. In fact, short-term fasting actually increases your metabolic rate and makes you burn more calories. Waiting. It's so easy just Telling yourself not eat during a certain time of the day, well, for me personally, just because I'm following this 7, 2, 3 eating window, my biggest trouble was in the evening when I put Leon to bed, I was just like, mmm, pantry, what do we have here? And I just like kept going and like doing all those trips to the pantry, to the fridge, and I was just simply overeating just because I was eating out of boredom, just because I was stressed during the day, and I just I don't know food is a pleasure and you just can't argue with that actually when you have this um, eating window with intermittent fasting it helps you break this attachment of false hunger like of, of, of feeling hungry for the wrong reasons whether it's a boredom hunger or emotional hunger we all know that we've all been there <laughs> well I won't lie of course you're going to be hungry for the first couple of days but don't fret, don't panic, you're not going to die. Like, you're going to be just fine. Just give yourself a few days, even a week, and your body will readjust, it will adapt to the new eating schedule, and you will start getting hungry in your eight hour or whatever, um, whatever time, timing you prefer eating window. All right, that's enough talking. Let's just jump straight into my day. Um, well, happens all the time. Today is Saturday uh, and I thought it would be easier for me to film today because on the weekdays the only word that comes to my mind is rushing. I'm generally pretty busy, I wake up quite early and with one hand I'm preparing Leon's lunchbox, with the other hand I'm preparing his breakfast, my breakfast, getting Leon ready for school, rushing to school, dropping him off and then the day takes over. Well, I bet every single parent can relate. Today I actually slept in a little. 
um, woke up at 7 and going to cook breakfast with no hurry. I'm finishing my um, lukewarm water with apple cider vinegar. I actually like drinking it in the morning. Today's plan is we are leaving for the gym later on, then we've got Leon's soccer training, and then we're going to the movies to watch Incredibles 2. Um, and then, yeah, it's getting dark at 5.30 because it's winter here in Australia. My eating window is from 7 to 3, usually, with half an hour variation. So, for example, today I will be having my breakfast at 7.30. I generally have three meals. I would even say two meals and one snack. Um, and my two main meals are really calorie dense. And snack is usually something like protein ball or protein bar or even a little chocolate. Yes, I'm treating myself every day. I'm a massive sweet tooth. And if I didn't do that, I think I would go crazy. So for breakfast, um, I love what I call it loaded porridge. I cook just um, simple rolled oats with water. <laughs> It doesn't look that fancy um, on the weekday. I actually realized that I forgot to put um, some protein in my porridge. So I'm just going to have a shake, simple shake with uh, water. Alright, so we came, we're on the way to the gym. Hey! <laughs> The little man is all nice and stylish. I'm going to smash body attack. Then in the movies, that's Someone is excited. So pretty much everything is done and now we decided before the movies we decided to uh, go out for lunch He's yeah. busy as always um, Well, so the food is nearly here and I will show you what I'm going to eat so. <laughs> I'm not going to eat all that Someone actually asked me about the social side of things while doing the fasting and what about dinners with friends and stuff like that I personally rarely go out for dinners these days because I've got Leon and he goes to bed pretty early. Plus it's winter and I don't even want to leave the house after 5 p.m. So I socialize by doing brunches or long lunches with friends. That's why 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. window works perfectly at this stage. You just need to determine what suits your lifestyle the best and go from there. Whether it's 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. or 1 p.m. to 9 p.m., you can start from a couple of days a week or start from doing a 12-hour fast and then gradually increase that time. I love this eating approach because it's flexible, it gives you less stressful decisions to make throughout the day as opposed to eating 5-6 times a day, for example, when you think, oh, is it good or bad calories? And it creates the sense of restriction and lack of enjoyment. Here, you just have boundaries in the form of timing your meals, but within those boundaries, you can move freely uh, as in eat what you want. Well, I'm not talking about downing a whole cheesecake and fries every day, but you know what I mean. For lunch, I had about 1000 calories all up, had two sushi sets with brown rice and quinoa and shared the desserts with Leon. I don't count calories, I mostly also try to focus on mindful eating and eating nutritious foods where possible with a bit of indulgement in favorite sweets. Well, I'm hopeless, I know, the worst chocoholic you've, you will ever meet in your life. 